Alright, how's it going, Pokemon Go Spoofing subreddit? So, Flippo, I've got a new tutorial for you today. But first, I'd like to give a big shout out to user Carol Hedda for releasing their own iSpoofer clone app or clone apps with new free custom icons. Um, I've taken a break these past few days on trying to figure out the custom icons. I kind of hit a wall as I had come to the conclusion that you needed to have a Mac to be able to edit um, the file we're going to be editing today. Um, so, again, big shout out. Huge shout out. This is exactly what I was hoping would happen when I released my tutorial and the community coming together pulling together all their knowledge so everyone can benefit from it. Um, I will link the tutorial on how to make the clones in this video's description and in the thread in case you don't know how to make the clones yet. Um, but this tutorial today is going to be strictly for editing the icons. I'm not going to go over making a clone um, I've already made a video for that. So starting off, we are going to come in and we are going to open your hopefully already cloned app or copy of iSpoofer. Um, going to go ahead and open that up with WinRAR. We're going to come in to Payload Pokemon Go app. All we're focused on right now is this file right here, assets.car. Pull that out. As you can see, I've already got a backup right here, personal thing. Um, so this is your assets.car. Once you've got this pulled out, you're going to want to come to this website. Link will also be in the description. Um, essentially, what you're going to be doing here is you're uploading your own assets.car file and this is going to give you image files inside of it. It likes to be a little bit difficult with the image verification, so bear with me. Alright, so once you've done that, you're going to come down here, you're going to get a zip file, bunch of random letters and numbers. So open that up, come in here, and all we are looking for with this is the 60 by 60 at times 3. This is the highest resolution copy of the app's icon in this file. You can use any of them if you'd like, but there's no point <laughs> as the qu quality of the icon is just going to be that much worse. So grab that file out of there. Once you've done that, we don't need that anymore. Um, next thing you're going to need is GIMP. Um, of course, you can do this in Photoshop if you have access to Photoshop. I tried to do it with Microsoft Paint. I was unsuccessful uh, doing it the way I wanted to with Paint. Um, and for the sake of simplicity, we're going to be taking the most basic route to changing the icon's color. Um, so once you've got GIMP, you want to open it up. Drag your icon into GIMP. Once you're in here, all we're doing, hue saturation or hue chroma. Up to you. You can use both of them and get different outcomes. Um, but all you really are wanting to do is just simply make an adjustment Boom. Mess with it a little more. Boom. Completely custom icon. Once you're satisfied with your custom icon, you're going to want to go to File. I made this mistake originally as Photoshop uses Save As. Ignore these. Come down to Export As, or you can just overwrite the stock file. I personally don't recommend this as you'd want to keep at least one of the original to work off of. Um, but yeah, so export as, 
select file type, come down to PNG image. And we're going to rename this icon tutorial export. Uh, yeah, let's just not mess with any of that. <laughs> um, once you've done that, You know what? We're just gonna just gonna close out of this discard. We'll double check it right here. Cool. All right. Once you are content and you have exported your custom icon, you are coming back to the same website, and instead of using the extractor, you're gonna be using the generator. So this right here is going to generate this file. So we're going to be replacing your assets.car within the iSpoofer app or clone app with your own. So let's go ahead and delete that. We'll come back in here. Icon tutorial. Oh, I got to refresh. Did this a minute ago. Uh, come back in here. Icon tutorial. Enter the verification. Generate. Now you will have an assets.car file generated for you. We're going to go ahead and copy that in there. Get rid of that. And then we come back into WinRAR. Now we are going to delete the original assets.car out of the WinRAR window. As you can see, it's gone drag and drop your newly edited assets.car just hit OK on that pop-up and boom you're done and let's see so this is my own personal way of signing um, but once you've done that all you need to do is sign the app and sideload it to your device um, Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, just want to help out where I can, when I can. Um, if anyone has any other questions, comments, uh, just let me know. I'm happy to help. Yeah, thank you.